Good morning, everyone. So my name is Or Ofer. I'm the CEO and founder of SimilarWeb. And I'm going to talk with you. I'm gonna, first of all, I'm going to start with tell you a little bit about our company. So what we are doing, we measure the digital world. Basically, we provide information about every website and every app in more than 200 countries. So you can use our in, uh, technology basically to understand for every website and app how much traffic they get, how they're getting their traffic, what marketing channel, and etc. Uh, we have a nice uh, website that is free called similarweb.com. Just one small question. How many uh, people here in the audience used or heard about SimilarWeb? Please raise your hand. OK, very nice. We like to measure everything, so I'm doing this test quite often. But you see, we have a lot to improve here in the German market. So we have this free website. Everybody can come, put any website, any app, and basically see this nice information. In this example, um, we put Amazon. And basically, we tell you how it's ranked. 12 in the world, number five in the United States, how many visits, how much time people spend in Amazon, how Amazon getting a traffic, etc. So the first question people ask us is how we're doing our magic, how, how you're having this data. So we use this, um, this um, technique of basically combining, combining few data sources. The first one is a panel. We own and maintain the biggest panel in the world, more than 100 million devices, mobile and desktop, basically, that um, we track the online behavior. We then combine this data source with an ISP data. ISP is Internet Service Provider. And basically, we sit on the pipe that's shifting the Internet around the world and analyzing it, combine it with a panel, combining it with a crawler that's running and mapping the entire digital world. Then we're building a model that basically helps us to understand how the digital world behaves. And the last part, we're testing these models with a, a something we call a learning set, a direct measurement. So today, um, we have tens of thousands of websites and apps that basically share with us the real statistics and enable us to compare and improving our estimation as we predict the digital world. Now, we deliver our, our technology in three ways. So we have the free website I told you about. We have a paid system called SimilarWeb Pro. It's like a SaaS platform that people can sign up and to see for market intelligence. Basically, they can see all the secrets of their competitors, understand trends, et cetera. And of course, we have an API that company use to integrate our technology into their product. We have a very nice booth here outside that all of you are welcome to go after and basically put your competitor and see all their information. Highly recommended. So we, found, we founded the company in 2007. We are uh, more than 150 employees, and we raised a little bit more than 40 million, and we operate in seven different locations. And we are very proud of about the customers that are using us. Um, we have Google, Samsung, Orange, eBay, all the top tier companies in the digital world are heavily used of our data. And not only them, our data has been quoted on a weekly basis in all the biggest newspapers because it's very interesting information what you can do with our data to understand all the things going on in the digital world. So you can see us in Bill DDE, Forbes, Guardian, and the Washington Post. And um, we disrupt, it because, disrupt the digital world because we bring no more secrets. Why? By letting all of you seeing everyone information, we bring transparency to the global market. And um, we decided to talk about digital disruptors uh, here on the stage and to show you a few, uh, two nice examples about um, about stuff they've been talking for a while. One is, the first one is China, and the second one is the mobile. And we use our data to show you everything that's going on. So let's start with China that's growing very strong in the online. And we, just, and we choose to show you this nice example of a very a nice uh, a Chinese company called Alibaba. So they launched AliExpress. They're, um, copycat of eBay, and last month, it was the first time ever that AliExpress website traffic passed eBay in, 
or worldwide, meaning that more people visit AliExpress around the world than all eBay property together. So this is very interesting information, and you probably wonder in which market it's occurred. And, ah, sorry, before that, let's show you what was their secret of growing the, so quickly. So we decided to put this very nice graph that basically compare between AliExpress and eBay in all the marketing channel that's leading traffic to a website. So we have direct, mail, referrals, search, social, and the last one, display advertisement. And you can see very clearly that AliExpress basically use heavily display advertisement, buying banners all across the internet in order to pass eBay, spending tons of money in the past year, and it seems like it's working for them. And you probably now wonder in which market they operate. So the interesting thing to see that it's really spread around the globe. So you can see from United States, Russia, in this chart you can see in which countries uh, visiting AliExpress, and you can see it's very spread. Now, the second example we choose to show you is this nice um, company from China, and it manufactured this phone OnePlus that's trying to compete with the HTC um, Motorola kind of. So they launched last year, and in this nice graph, you can see in last year how their website traffic, oneplus.net, increased dramatically over the year, passing HTC, BlackBerry, Motorola, and all the other players all along year. Now, the second example I want to talk with you today is about mobile web surfing. Mobile web surfing, it's when the user um, take their phone, open the browser, and using the browsing to surf. It's not about using the apps, it's about using the browser itself to browse the website. And the most interesting thing in this world, and how mobile become big, is this amazing chart that's showing um, the, the um, the difference between uh, desktop traffic to mobile web traffic in Google.com in the US. And you see there where the orange arrow is. This is the point of inflection. In November 2013, there were more people opening their browser on the phone, searching in Google, than they search in Google on the desktop. Very important point that happened November last year. And if you look on Google.com globally, in all the visitors around the world, you can see it's getting very close. So now we are standing on 46% using Google.com globally in their mobile. And we're expecting that in the next few months also this is going to change and more people are going to use their phone to search than the desktops. Now, because we're here in Germany, we decided to finish my presentation with a few um, cute examples of using our data to understand the German market. So we put this nice table of the top website in Germany and show, share with you this nice uh, overview we found about German love to click on ads. Don't know why, but we found out we put those free pies that represent the share of clicks coming out of Google between organic click to paid click. So how many people are clicking the ads showing up on Google? So you see that in Germany, 10.8% of the clicks coming out of Google are paid, comparing to the UK that's only 10, while in French is only 7.3. Now, a nice table we choose to show you um, the big rising German shopping website. And the, the interesting thing here, it's number four and number eight. Look at Alibaba and AliExpress, how they grew up year over year in Germany, going up very highly. Alibaba now is number 10 in shopping website in Germany, and AliExpress is number 6. Now I'm going to finish my presentation with this very nice thing we found. So Germans, they love porn. How much they love porn? A lot. 10% of all the traffic in Germany is in porn website. And we found out that 10 out of the top 100 websites in Germany are adult. And if you compare it to the other countries, you can see that, uh, for example, United Kingdom is 6.8%, while United States only 6.6% of all the traffic is going to adult. Now, if you look at it worldwide, who is throwing traffic to adult website worldwide? So, of course, 
United States is on the top, but Germany have a very um, nice position and number two, sending this spawn traffic around the world. So I, I found that very interesting. Um, so this was my presentation for today, and we have a very nice workshop tomorrow and a booth here that you all welcome to go and see much more insight. Thank you so much.